here with a quick update. Sorry, I've been offline for a while, but I've been working on a website, and we went out to Toledo, where my wife Peggy and I are taking our turn uh, spending a week helping to care for her mother, who is home with hospice. So, we're getting a glimpse of what hospice at home is like. Listen. That's the oxygen concentrator. Also, this place is very dark. Usually the windows or blinds are drawn. And usually the windows are closed. Of course, it's dead of winter, January. And she sleeps very late until 10. For, for me, that's very late. <laughs> All of that is to say that when you do something like this, your routine is totally thrown up in the air. And you have to really take a deep breath and go with the flow, right? Because it's, it's, it's kind of like the old... Uh, slogan of the Marshall Fields department store in Chicago. Marshall Field was famous for saying the customer is always right. In this case, the patient is always right. I mean, we're liking being here. We're liking spending time with her. We're liking having conversations. Uh, but we can see uh, how this can absolutely wear you down as a caregiver. So every day we take a walk in the woods and look at the birds. Uh, but the dog helps us because it forces us to get out and take walks three times a day. We're doing an exercise routine here in the apartment. Um, yeah, and, uh, but there's an air of fatigue, there's an air of heaviness, there's an air of uh, being confined and closed in and confined not only physically but confined by someone's narrowing and closing um, psyche and you feel it so I'm really appreciating more and more all the things you caregivers do they are great we had a very busy day yesterday we had a CNA come in uh, first thing, and uh, give uh, my mom-in-law a bath and uh, change the sheets and such. And then the physical therapist came, and that was pretty intense because uh, uh, she actually got her out of the bed, which was an operation requiring three people, and on the commode, which was a surprise. And she sat up, and um, I found some webcams where you look at birds and bird feeders, live bird feeders, and this is very interesting to her and to me. <laughs> well, it was very tiring. But in the evening, we had a nice conversation about the old days and family and dealing with uh, it being the anniversary of a, her sister who died in a car accident, and she had not ever forgotten that, and something she has to work out. So, first-hand caregiving. Um, as a chaplain, I always kind of looked on at families. I would see them come into the hospital. I would see how tired they are. I would hear them talking on the phone, working on schedules. Uh, how were they going to care for someone when they came home? Uh, I heard all of that, but it was all secondhand. So to have first-hand experiences, uh, which I didn't have so much with my father, um, for various reasons. Uh, he wasn't on hospice very long, uh, and I was out of town. To have first-hand experiences, uh, gratifying. 
that's all for now. I'll have more to say later. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching, and I wish you peace.